Good friggin' morning folks. Welcome along to the vlog. You didn't see me yesterday. I was gonna do a QA, and uh, a but I sat down to do the VAT return and unfortunately that took all freaking day. Computers, they are without a doubt the bane of my life. So this morning as well, I have spent most of it on the friggin' computer again, but for a good reason this time. I know a lot of you want hats, right? Lots of you want hats. So, we've set up a web page for the hats. I do have everybody's name, or at least username, from YouTube last week, but it's very difficult to put together a mailing list and charge everybody for um, the hats and get it to them all over the world for a fair price. So what I've been doing this morning is setting up uh, a web page. Here it is. You can go to it at harrisonsbrewery.com forward slash brewery hyphen hat hyphen order hyphen page. Let's see if I can get rid of all them hyphens. Anyway, it's a uh, brewery hat order page. Harrison's Brewery, or if you just go to Harrison's Brewery homepage, there's actually a uh, there's a button in the menu at the top, so you can get to it from there. So what I've decided to do, in fact I'll put the screen in front of you and I'll talk you through it. So I'm hoping that this makes some kind of sense and you can actually read it. So this is the page that you'll come to. Here's Harrison's Brewery website it's not finished yet by any stretch of the imagination nothing's ready on it but there on the top is the brewery hat page it'll take you to this little page here so it's basically self-explanatory on the side i've set all this text up to explain to you what the crack is so over here there's a paypal buy it now button if you're living in the uk the hat's nine quid and postage is three so it's going to be 12 quid you just select that bad boy if you live anywhere else in the world I managed to get shipping anywhere else in the world for eight pound with this company called Dispatch Pay that I'm using. And then you just click on the buy it now button and it'll take you across to PayPal. There we go, you can log in uh, on PayPal. So if we just go back, you'll be able to also, uh, I've decided to add a little bit of a jobby here look a little bit of a jobby so if you take a photo of yourself in the hat near a landmark local landmark or in front of your brewing kit or something like that then we'll set up a page on the website as well to stick you it's all explained on here and uh, yeah we'll stick you on the page and I'm also thinking about doing a 2020 calendar so you never know you might get into that and then down the bottom as well we've had quite a few people say that they want to support me, but they don't want to do it on the Patreon platform due to them not agreeing with their censorship uh, regulations. So if you do want to support me on Patreon, you can do it here, or you can also support me now via PayPal by just chipping in a couple of quid as a one-off payment. Again, just add it to a cart. Simple, easy as that. So I hope you jump on there guys for your hats. This is the only place you're going to be able to order hats from and uh, we'll be sending them out once we've got a sufficient amount to work to warrant processing the order. So basically what I'm saying is if we get one hat order tomorrow, I'm not packaging and sending it out tomorrow. Well the hats aren't ready yet anyway, they won't be here till next week. Uh, and then maybe we can move on and uh, set up a proper apparel page and uh, do all this kind of jazz, you know? I got another jacket today, which is really rather good. So this one was like 50 quid, but it's got, it's a nice comfortable jacket. It's got the Harrison's Brewery logo on that side. My name on the side there. And then uh, it's got the big circular logo on the back. I'm really dead chuffed with it. Oh, I'm gonna have to put it on anyway because I'm absolutely freezing out here. Uh, it's already lunchtime, so I'm just gonna grab a bite to eat, folks, and then we'll pick up the vlog and decide what we're gonna do for the rest of the afternoon. Uh, there's lots to do. My SDS. 
Last week it set on fire, it's burnt out, it's uh, no good. So I may have to go across to Tool Station and pick up an SDS because some point this week I want to make the security gate for the side of the pub. Just, uh, just for my own peace of mind, you know. Yeah, we need some more Danish oil as well for the tables. Look at that, beautiful. It's bloody lovely. That view never gets boring, does it? Let's see, uh, I think my mum's in cleaning this morning. Oh, here we are. Here she is, look. Look at this. Hey. Hey. Don't work too hard. Sure. Still gone? Crafting that weight. Oh, he's here. <laughs> right, we've got to decide what we're doing for today, but I don't know. Right then folks, we're in the cellar. And one of the issues that we've got in here this week is uh, there's a drain just down here. And it doesn't have a proper manhole on it. And I don't know where it goes. We're using it as a soak away at the moment. Uh, but it's beginning to emit an aroma that's undesirable for the cellar. I don't like it. So we're gonna lift it up. We're gonna have a look. And we're gonna measure up for a galvanized cover and frame and we'll probably fit one of those this week to make sure that uh, any nasties that are down there stay down there so if i just move the camera i'll show you what we've got i'll have to probably take it off the tripod to be fair make it a little bit easier so this is the uh this is the bad boy in question see it's just a big solid sort of concrete pad underneath there we do have underneath there we do have a soak away of sorts but it's not very well laid out designed so let's pop this lid up and let's have a look underneath not ideal situation to be fair So that definitely seems to be where the nasty aroma is emanating from. Uh, yes, take a peek. So there's a combination of muck and crap and horrible stuff down there. We don't really know what much of it is. So I'm probably going to have to uh, just spray the hose pipe down there, see if we can't move some of that rubbish before we investigate further. It smells like sewage though. So we've opened a bit of a can of worms now with this lot. I think that the drain in the cellar runs out to this soak away here we've got down there but it's blocked up in the cellar it's not been used for well forever 
and I've been in here with a trowel and stuck it up the pipe and we're getting mud out from up the pipe there. These two soakaways run into this and that runs into the main uh, main drain that we've got around here which we've got the lid up for it you can see into there so we've got good flow essentially going from that drain from the toilets in the pub yeah from that drain here let me put you down the toilets in the pub but not the soak away in the cellar So the plan this, this time is to chuck five big buckets of water down that drain, hopefully sluicing whatever's in there down here. So I'll set you up to look into the drain and we'll see how, see how we go on, see what we get out of it. Let's have a look, can you see that? How's that? That's not too bad. You both know it, not yet. So. Should have a new one on the floor, so we should flush that new one. Yeah, we'll flush that. Bottom or top one? It comes up for the one on your left hand side. The side one? Yeah, the street there. Yeah. It comes up the middle one. one. But one at middle. Right, that's come out that one there. Did you wear your footers? And off it goes. And this one came out of there as well. No, that one came out the one on the, on the right. The right? That side. That's the left. From camera, right. talking from camera's perspective. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> well, that's good then. So that one, that one's the main one then, is it? Do you know there's four? Now, as daft as it sounds, there's also a soakaway over here. So if we pull the tables out, aha, yes. Well that's full of leaf litter, let's pull up, pop that one open. Well we've definitely found a job to do this week then. We've opened this other manhole up as well. We have a considerable fatberg in there. Look at that lot. All that yellow stuff that you see. That's all fat from the restaurant. And that's cleaning soap from uh, cleaning the pup today, the bubbles and muck excavated by the, probably by a rat so uh, we need to get rid of this as well all oh, right i'm in from probably the worst job of all fatberg gone that's terrible but it's not going to get any better because uh, now i'm going to have to go into the cellar and that soak away that we uncovered that was full of rubble right I'm pretty sure that that should not be full of rubble and uh, I can see it's continuing to have a problem of uh, bad smells emanating from there unless we sort it out properly. So I want to get gloved up, take off any nice new Harrison's Brewery jackets that I've bought and put these scruffy old Idle Valley ones on and uh, I want to basically get on my hands and knees and dig the shit out of that soak away so we can... Uh, we can get it running good and proper. Ah, the things I do in the uh, quest for good ale, eh? At least I'm doing them. There's been some major excavation going on. Check this out. Holy shit, Batman. That is pretty bad. So what we've done is we've dug out as much crap and crud from there as possible and uh, then I've decided 
come on focus I've decided enough is enough uh, it's a good four foot deep and I'm just not I've not got it in me frankly to dig it all out so we're going to go across the tool station and get a submersible pump put that in there and a folding shovel to help dig out all the crud and then we will come back and uh, pump it all dry and once we know where it's going and what it's doing if we can unblock it we'll unblock it if not we're putting an airtight inspection chamber on and that's it so it's actually five o'clock or oh, half past four now so we've wasted almost all the day on this one project well, i say wasted it needed doing but we've still got time to shoot over to tool station so we're going to do that now Right, so we're dead. Asking the other way, is that Amazonic Lodge opposite the city? Bruce I was like, yes. Right, so I managed to get a new SDS. We'll see how that fares over the next few days. Some Danish oil. This time we'll shake it before we apply it. Then we've got, then we've got the, uh, the old. What's it called now? <laughs> the drain cover. We've got the old drain cover as well. And Stu's got a few other bits. Oh. Some lay flat hose and a fold away spade. So that should help us dig all of the shizzle out. Yeah, so the idea with this is we'll just have it kind of half cocked, if you will. Yeah, so if I remember this from my rabbiting days, there we go, like that, and like that, and then screw it down, and then to dig all that shit out at the bottom of the hoil, we can just scoop like that and lift it out. Pooper scooper. Save me back a little bit, that will, won't it? So yeah, fingers crossed, all this equipment, including this submersible, this was 41 quid. That's a pretty good price to be fair. So hopefully that'll get us excavated tomorrow and uh, put that job to bed. Horrible, horrible job. But that's it, we're gonna wrap it up tonight. I might uh, just nip upstairs, see Craig for a quick pint. Uh, we'll put the lid on the smelly drain and then off home for some spag ball. Yay! <laughs>